My parents are finally seeing the truth. It sucks, because this is not the way I wanted it to happen, but my parents are finally seeing the truth about how disposable the working class is to the elite. Today my mom got the notice that she and her friend at work would be pitted against each other for who gets to keep their job. They were notified together that they would both need to reapply and re-interview and only one of them would keep their job and the other would be eliminated. The worst part? Both her and her friends' divisions have made steady profits over the past 15 years. There is no logical reasoning behind this, her boss just told her they were cutting costs. My mom has been with this company since 1988, fresh out of college. A total of 35 years with them and she is now told that she will need to re-interview for the job. She has been working successfully at all these years. On top of that, even if she gets to keep the job there are rumors her division will be sold at some point in the next few years. She made them a profit for 35 years, and in just a few weeks to a month they could make her unemployed at the worst possible time. She is 60 years old, five years away from her planned retirement. She's not sure where she would even go, but she's certain she's not financially ready to retire after putting both my brother and I through college debt free. She just needed five more years out of the company she gave 35 years to. Her biggest fear? That no one will hire her due to her age, and that she couldn't get a job in her current management position, so she would have to step down to the more manual labor oriented part of her field. At her age and health that's becoming a risk in of itself. She's likely facing the fact that the retirement she earned, with minimal vacations and countless hours of unpaid OT will be robbed from her to strengthen the bottom line on a division she's made, profitable year after year for the past 20 years. Fuck corporate America. Eat the rich, may we dance on their burnt corpses. They're lying. They're going to tell them both to reapply then give the job to a younger person they can pay less. My mom's job made everyone reapply for their jobs. She just, didn't bother, made them fire her, and went into retirement a year early. And this is why I'm pro-unions. Yeah, this sounds like the corporate world I know. And boomers can't fathom why younger generations show no loyalty to companies and switch jobs at the slightest pay increase. I'm so sorry she's going through that. It's disgusting how companies are treating the people who made them what they are, who built them up and sacrificed so much of their lives to them especially people who are too old or otherwise unable to easily find work in the field anymore. It's just so wrong. You know, I'm actually surprised that in America, the land of the lawsuit, there is nothing she can sue them over. It's insane. It's like divorce, man. I'm sorry, she has to go through this. Used to have a bitch of a boss named Debbie that worked for Walmart for 20 years. They fired her, then made her reapply for the exact same job. She felt fortunate, but what a lot of people didn't see is that they were making her start all over when it came to benefits. So less pay, less PTO, and less benefits. They do this knowingly. It's such an asshole move, because they know they're messing with retirements. There's really no winning. Total BS. Capitalist assholes. Absolutely terrible. If it helps, anyone over the age of 40 is considered a legally protected class same as race, gender, sexuality, etc. So if she doesn't get the job after reapplying, she may have a legal case. Better yet, talk to an employment attorney now so she knows what to look for. She won't like this advice, but she needs to file an age discrimination claim and then a lawsuit. It's her only chance to recover any part of her last five years of wages assuming she doesn't keep her job. My guess is both her and her friend get fired though. Sorry to hear. In 52 and have been lightly looking at other jobs. Can't get past the first interview. It really sucks being the non-desirable age bracket. My job may be downsized in a year or two and I feels like the end of the world slowly coming. Good luck to your mom, if she has good networking skills. Maybe she can talk to other departments. And jump to another position if hers get eliminated. But never forget corporations have no employee loyalty. It doesn't matter if you work one year or 40 years for a company. 
the only line that matters is the profit line. That's brutal. I had a meeting today that reinforced something I thought in my younger years but didn't pursue call it being a coward, call it being fiscally conservative, call it being dumb, but less capable people than I have excelled because they started their own business, milked tax loopholes, and exploited people like me. Neither of them should quit. Make them fire them. This could be grounds for an age discrimination case. Eat the rich, tax the rich. That really sucks. Your mom should privately ask the boss if they would offer some kind of early retirement package for her to just step down. I mean they're doing this to her so probably not, but I'd ask. She's already lost her job, they want to hire someone they can pay less. But I think she should make them fire her at the very least. I think the news should start doing reports of this type of stuff. It's sad that it has to personally affect them for them to see the light, finally. I'm sorry that she had to find out the hard way. We should follow suit with France. The second they started making laws based on religion and bullying gays and treating the working class like we are dumb. Is the second we should have started. May already be too late. But we should. I had this happen. Me and two of my co-workers were told they only needed two positions instead of three. We had to interview for work we were already doing and provide ideas on how to improve. Then two weeks later they scheduled meetings with each of us one right after the other. We were all let go. They hired some new grad to do all our work for much less money. That position has gone through people regularly over the past four years. I was let go by an aerospace contractor with six months to go until retirement. I wasn't going to spend six months job hunting so I moved out of state. Three months later, they called to say I had been let go by mistake and would I come back. Turns out that you can't just fire someone and expect that someone else will have his 40 years of experience. I told them thanks no. I am female and turned 60 this summer. STEM degree earned in 2000. I confirm no one wants to hire old ladies. I suggest the two friends sit down and see if they can possibly come up with a plan to both leave and go into business together. Screw that employer. Do the job as normal. Start applying other places. You don't have to reapply. It's your job until you are fired. Start looking for anything management is doing that's inconsistent or illegal. Do not sign anything without a labor lawyer reviewing it. This has been happening to the boomers for decades. Or something like it. All the union busting over the last few decades hit the boomers first. The idea that every grandparent is sitting on massive fortunes is bull. They're not working at Walmart to have something to do. Yeah, and the five years before retirement thing is legendary. Right when you have no time left. PPL always think they are immune to workplace bullcrap. If it happens to others, it SBC the person wasn't T a good worker. PPL always think if I do a good job, I am safe and will be treated fairly. Then it happens to them and the world comes down. Don't burn the corpses the rich taste best when cooked medium rare. Fuck that, she's already has the job and has been working long enough. I'd recommend refusing to reapply and just keep working until they fire her so she gets easy unemployment. Being asked to reapply is insulting. As others have said, they probably want to fire both to hire a younger person to do the job of two while getting less pay. Leave of absence, short-term disability for severe mental distress, then limited, go back for three weeks then repeat. They will pay her to leave. I'd force them to give her the retirement package with all the bells and whistles. Corporate hour hates doctors and mental stress claims. Factor in a good employment lawyer who can help your mom navigate the lay of the land will prep her for an overzealous, uneducated boss who will eventually give her great proof for an age discrimination claim. Good luck.